Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to show you on this three-quarter bar. The uh, the bars that come like like you buy them, they're going to be too long for this bigger sprocket we're running. It's hard to see because it's in there, but I cut the back of them off, and I cut that one a little more than I what I was hoping to. But you got to cut them or the, the sprocket will hit, and when you loosen your bar to slide it down, you know, to put a chain on, uh, it would hit the sprocket. And uh, so you got to cut that off to, in order to make it fit in there. I just, I've used a grinder at times and, and a torch. So I can kind of tell or not. Here is a old bar. Actually, I just took it off. I was cutting wood with it last week. But as you can see, it's bent pretty good. And it's somewhat wore. That bar has cut a lot of wood. It was cutting good just like that. You see how that thing is bent? It's bowed up there and back here. A little bit of a twist, but that's the thing I like about the three quarters. It just, they just keep cutting. But here is what I cut off the new bar. And I cut too much or more than I'd like. It works fine, but I would like to maybe cut it about right in here. So if you get a new bar, and you're running that new motor and sprocket and everything. Uh, maybe experiment a little bit before you just go cut it. I just measured off of this bar, and this one must have been cut a little short too. So, uh, and it, it's not a big deal. The sprocket's big enough that the chain. It ain't like the chain has to jump up on. You know, it goes straight on. So, it ain't a big deal that I cut it as short as I did. But, yep, yeah, that bar there is cut. I. Honestly, I'd be lying if I told you a number. Also, another thing I do is I drill these small holes out to a half inch bolt and I tap my blocks for that. And uh, yeah, they, the little bolts just, they don't hold up as good with the big bar. The big bar can take a lot more force, so. If you run it like I do, you're breaking them little bolts quite a bit. And so I went to the half-inch bolts, and I break them occasionally, but for the most part, I don't have any trouble out of bolts. 